all the way. Yeah. You guys are way too loud. Um, you have to cut back on that scream. Like, you, you kill every kill. Like, Jenna. Marissa, like, you same cannot scene. hear her at all. Same scene, just more, just more, you just really need more energy for that scene because when you say you juggler, you are accusing her of taking your boyfriend. And so, when you're. So when you are when you're saying that line, you need to be me. You are, I mean, you, yeah, you're, you're basically calling her a slut. So. Well, she's got two guys, so that's what she's juggling. <laughs> so basically, that's why you call her a juggler. So you're kind of saying that a bit soft and stuff. Don't. That's your energy line. That's your. You're just out there. You could. You're running over to her. You're pushing her back. So if you need more energy in that scene, and that's where you could really get a lot more energy. Um, okay. It's just normal. I mean, that happened in the progress of we had a really good, solid run on Friday. Okay. We had to take it apart on Saturday. We added, you know, dark mix and all kinds of stuff, and we had lots more. But today I need to see you step it back up again. Okay? Because it really was a lot of like, yeah, well. Try moving in a little bit. Either corner. We yeah. could not like those corners. Okay? We probably will get you. At, um, ASM, before Jordy goes out there, no. remind him about his character over and over and over. Tell, like, just go up to Jordy and be like, ee haw, ee haw, ee haw, yeah. when he's a donkey. So then he knows, you know? Because <laughs> okay. sometimes, sometimes he forgets that he's uh, going to be a donkey out there. So it's just, if he remembers his character, Jordy just wants him. Yeah, I mean, when you're there, you're there, but it's just, you got to be. There's two lines I really want to hear. If you can just change the way that you say these two lines, the one where you say, this man hath my consent to marry her. Make sure that line is very accented and very hurt, because that's one of the most important lines. And then there's a line where you go over and push Lysander. Um, I forget, I don't know exactly what you said there. Push this way or push She's mine all my love do a state unto Demetrius. Yeah, there. When you say do a state unto Demetrius, that needs to be accented. Because that's basically the whole point of this play. So um, sometimes you get sometimes you get a really high pitch in there. And you start saying it fast, even if you're on power thirst or something. If you could just change the way that you say those two lines, it would work. Because I love your character, but those two lines need to be heard. <laughs> Marissa, um, when you say like the more I hate, the more he follows me. The way, uh, at least the way that you said last time, when you said the word follows, your your pitch was kind of going up, 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 and then it, you, you're, by the time you got to the, uh, the more he follows me, you had a really high pitch that was staying at the same ball, uh, same pitch. So you're like, the more he hates, the more he... Fo I, I don't know how you... you kinda get what I'm saying. It sounded very unnatural. So just make sure you uh, kind of fix with that, work with that line. Let's see. Um, Jacqueline, I love your entrance when you way overdo when you way overdo the crying. So it's basically the whole energy thing when you're coming out there when you're just like, ah, ah. <laughs> you know. Sometimes you come out there and you're like, ah. no, with a, a lot of energy, it's really oh, noticeable to the audience and you, it's funny. Okay. <laughs> um, Sarah, I love your elbows. <laughs> yes, your walk is awesome. The gander, gander, gander. Hats. That's what it remember, is. To, remember to keep your hats up. Remember to keep your hats up. Um, when acting as Bisbee, Jordy, um, sometimes you go, Oh, I'm Bisbee. Plant. That's way. And then, Oh, I am Bisbee. You know, like how you did the other times. Girls don't prance like this when they're talking. They don't go like this all the time. What the heck is that? Here's <laughs> <laughs> Wade's impression of a girl. <laughs> um, I've never seen a girl do that. Sarah. <laughs> for me. Sometimes, <laughs> okay, when you say the word extempore, some, sometimes I hear you give like a weird little French ro uh, R, like roll on it. Porre. Yeah, Some, I like it when you have that roll on the R like you did sometimes. You're like, porre. Oh my gosh. It's really cool. Um, let's see. All the mechanicals, um, that would hang us all. Um, yeah, at the end, I heard like one or two, you give up. At the end, you guys should all be doing that. Like a, a sigh. Because it like, it gets that moment and it ties it all together, kind of.
Um, and on the note here, um, I have a small note with the mechanicals. I'm still laughing at this show after this, like the 20th time seeing it, so you guys are doing a good job. Um, Jordy, as I said earlier, you kind of lose it when you're scratching your butt. You scratch at the beginning, and then you're just like, oh, I'm going to do this, and then you don't go back to scratching it. So if it's going to be in your character, remind. Scratch your butt. Scratch your butt. Scratch your butt. You're laughing? Fairies. You guys are all laughing at each dance, except for the first one. So I don't know if that was a direction choice. No. Okay. Because the first one, you guys are all, there's not a single sound. When the baby comes out. Yeah. Uh, okay. We need to have the well, well, no, not not the, just the baby. Oh, you're alone. talking about the first one. The first one yes. in the script. Yeah. Keep laughing. Keep going. That's the one when Puck comes out and gives his uh, Puck entrance. Yeah. There's. Y you need a few giggles in there. <laughs> um, yeah, Holly. You need to slow down a little bit. I like your reactions, though. I like your movements, but your voice needs to slow down a little bit. If you're really high pitched and you talk really fast. So the fairies, do they all, down, not all the time. Yeah, we got it. I have a yeah. okay. particular of Holly's. It's the one where you say, uh, Um, who can remind him? Uh, Are we Danny. All right, Danny. Well, I don't want to, you got a lot of stuff to do. Remember. So, oh, okay. Danny. Um, can you tell Dan and Kendra that when they first make that entrance and they, um, when they run into each other, they need to commit more on that first run into each other. The, se the second one works, the first one needs to commit. The second one was great. I thought they really ran into each other. Yeah, but the first one needed to commit. I mean, it looked, you know, it's because of the way, because Sarah's, you're looking at Sarah turning and then all of a sudden they're yeah. bam and they're on the floor and it's like, they really, you know, yeah, that's, that's what you the want. same thing. Um, but the first one needed a little bit more commitment. So just tell them, when you guys run each other that first time, you guys need to have that whole face and everything. That you are really running, and when you've hit, you guys have to have that face or something. Um, when we have that run-in um, with Mike and Marissa, remember, we changed it. Run in. Kate, I love the way you're standing, and also, where's the other? Liz. Liz, Liz, yes. Liz has a great stance, too. But Shannon and Holly, you need a fairy stance, because you're still standing like a person. Um, Kate's standing there, and she has her li uh, legs leg. crossed, like, one something like that, down. yeah. And, like, on the toes. So maybe if you could have one toe up, or something like Shannon that. Shannon have only one toe up. Yeah. <laughs> she had her... I had my little, oh so yeah, my gimp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't be like, yeah, yeah I'm a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. That'd be fun. Like, uh, <laughs> like, or, you know, so it doesn't have to be loud, but it could be soft. And there needs to be a grab instead of just a, oh, here, let me have that. Because you're taking something out of her hands. She's, so. gonna, she's going to give you a glass, and you're like, um, and you need to react to that because we're making him kind of a meanie. Okay. Big fat meanie. Ryan, when you're doing the a monologue with the, about Athenian garments, a little bit more articulation and make sure you get the right entrance when you're going over to put the flower on Titania. Yeah. Now I realize right now I walk up like, ah, no. <laughs> no, you're not. You were like, no. <laughs> yeah, light is really essential at this point because we've lit you where you felt like the stump. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mike. When you're on your knees. Oh yeah. Never mind. Um. Marissa, when you when you find Mike in that right, it's in the scene where you start jumping on everyone and such. Yeah. At the very beginning, when you walk in, you walk in and you still have that kind of gloomy feeling. Okay. But you're like. Hey, I found Mike. Hey, you have to hear him. That's the thing. Because you're coming out and you're going, you know, oh, oh, it's so dark. I can't see anything. <gasps> I can hear him. Yeah. Got it. Mm. You know. And you gotta when you finally find Lysander, you are the happiest person on earth because you just were, you were just asking Demetrius if he's dead. So, um, I think, I mean, you needed a bit more energy at the beginning, and that's how you can get more energy by the fact that you're really happy there. Until your happiness is destroyed, because Lysander goes, "No, I hate you, you Ethiope." So, um, let's just. Just a quick note for the mechanicals. I don't know where we are in their notes, but um, the scene where. Uh,